respiratory system in respiratory system the topics we will be covering are strider wheeze crepitation or grunting now let's move ahead coming to our first topic that is strider let's look into the approach to a child with strider one must note the strider occurs since pathology outside thorax basically a strider occurs due to airway tract obstruction in between pharynx to bronchi strider with respect to origin can be inspiratory biphasic or expiratory as can be seen in this picture also strider can be of another two types with respect to time of onset that is strider since birth and strider of late onset strider since birth includes laryngomalacia which is not associated with any infection hence no fever is seen whereas strider of the late onset usually is associated with infection such as acute epiglottitis or acute ltb let's move ahead and see what is laryngomalacia laryngomalacia is the most common congenital anomaly of larynx here the laryngo means the larynx and the malacia means the weakness yes here occurs the weakness of the soft tissues in the larynx it is the most common cause of strider in less than 2 years of age group it affects the supraglottic part of the larynx clinical features are inspiratory strider since supraglottic part is involved it increases on crying or since upper respiratory tract infection or if the baby is kept in supine position no fever no dysphagia and decreases on prone position or during the sleep let's go ahead kindly note laryngomalacia is a congenital softening of tissues of larynx situated above the vocal cords the laryngeal structure is malformed and floppy causing the tissues to fall over the airway and partially blocking it now let's see the investigation the investigation includes laryngoscopy it is the investigation of choice done by using indirect laryngoscope as you can see here indirect laryngoscope is a device used for visualizing the larynx which is done without entering deep into it this instrument has a mirror which reflects the image of the larynx to us although simple but much useful in the patient of laryngomalacia due to weakening or softening of epiglottis we see omega shape epiglottis now finally coming to the treatment the treatment of laryngomalacia is mainly the reassurance to the parents as most of the children recovers completely by 2 years of age that is their epiglottis develops enough strength to prevent falling back wait and watch will be enough here but in case still the muscle remains weak then we have to surgically correct the defect You can also check the link of the video on laryngomalacia as a separate topic and in more illustrated manner in the description below more topics coming up next see you there